Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Christina, and today we are going to be talking about all of my favorite hair products that I fell in love with over 2015. So if you guys are interested in watching this video, sit back, relax, let's get started. So first, I just want to go over, like, sets, because I kind of have, like, a bunch of, like, little sets, you know, like, shampoos, conditioners, and whatnot to come together. We're going to go over those first, because I have quite a few of those. So first, I want to talk about Day Moisture's Instant Moisture Shampoo Conditioner and deep conditioner these were some of my favorite products to go to whenever my hair was just feeling like super dry and brittle and actually it's one of, one of the products that i'm turning to now right now because my hair is like getting really dry and just feels like super just uh. these products instantly add moisture to my hair make my hair feel soft again make it feel like lively just like bring my curls back to life and these were definitely some staples for me in 2015 for the winter and just Mm. they were great for my curls the ultimate color conditioner repair um, by Paul Mitchell this was one of my favorites when I had a red streak in my hair it made my hair even now that my hair is blonde even though it's for color treated hair my hair is not really colored it's just stripped of whatever um, yeah it makes your hair feel really soft the quinoa in it really gets into the hair and just helps like repair it and make it just feel nice soft and all level and it smells and it smells really good too i can't really describe the smell but it has like a nice clean like fresh smell and this set also came with a heat protected and shine um it's heat protecting the shine and it does something else it's like a three-part like little spray and it makes your hair super shiny feels really good it's going to make your hair feel so soft and it's going to make your hair feel like it's just bouncing back to life this set right here was life when my hair was red life since we're talking about paul mitchell stuff we'll just go on to paul mitchell's forever blonde system the forever blonde system helps lighten it helps keep your hair looking light and hydrates your hair and it it's a purple base system because purple is going to help take the brassiness out of your blonde and it's going to help it stay brighter and make it you know your your blonde just look like it was brand new so you know whenever my blonde's looking dull or dingy i go to this one i actually go to this one like weekly this conditioner is like empty i only have like a little bit left so i need to buy another one my shampoo of course is full <laughs> And um, also in this little set is the Forever Blonde and Damage Repair Hairspray. Now I spray this in my hair if I want to straighten it. Um, if I know I'm going to like put a blow dryer on it, so blow dry it like that. I also would spray this in my hair if like it was chemically relaxed because this is going to help repair those bonds that were broken. It's going to help put all the nutrients back in it. So even if you're not blonde and you're getting ready to like use heat or something like that on your hair this is a really good staple just to put in your hair because it's going to help protect and rebuild your hair next one i have the whole set i have the shampoo conditioner the co-wash the curling cluster i have the milk i have literally the whole line for the shea moisture's curl and hibiscus and shine line i had the whole line i couldn't find all the pieces to it some of the pieces like might be thrown away or whatever but i owned the whole line it was a great line for my hair i love washing my hair with it my curls felt amaze balls with it and it's literally 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 one of my favorites i do not suggest for you to wash your hair and style your hair with this one all the time though just because it has protein in it and too much protein for your hair is bad so just make sure you guys are reading the instructions in whatever you're styling and washing your hair with because you don't want to wash your hair weekly with protein because then it's going to actually make your hair feel brittle and break but for this night i have the co-wash right here the conditioner and the gel the curling gel i was not so much of a fan of with like my washing goes but for like braid out for like chunky braid out and twist it was really good you just gotta know like how much of the stuff to use because if you use too much of it your hair is gonna feel like flaky and weird it just you gotta know literally a dime size a pea size of this per section and your hair will come out good one of my favorites really great just make sure you guys don't overuse it because it does have protein in it and too much protein for your hair is bad it will break your hair off paul mitchell's color protect reconstruction treatment 
was another staple of mine when my hair was red. It helped put everything, all the nutrients, nutrients, <laughs> all the nutrients back in my hair when it needed it. When I had the red strip, it also make that just feel like much softer and everything like that. Cause I was deep condition with the whole thing. I didn't just put like deep condition. I didn't put this treatment just on the one part. I put it on my whole head. Put a cap on it, and my hair felt super soft afterwards. So I did this one like once a month, and it just was amazing. Alpha G's Carrington and Green Tea Reconstructor Spray. Amazing for curly hair, straight hair, blow drying your hair, straightening your hair. It is great. It has heat protectant to it. It also helps repair bonds. It also helps treat your hair if you seal it in with heat. So if you spray this on your hair before you do your blow, lock the treatment in and it's gonna make your hair just feel amazeful. I literally, right after I put the rest of my deep conditioner out, I spray this all over my hair before I even spray my leave-in in, then I spray my leave-in in. It's amazing, amazing. Alpha G is one of the best products on the market. And as you guys can see, I love this stuff because look how much I have left. Look, that's the bottom, empty. That's that. It's amazing. Is the Alpha G Curl Definer. I love this stuff. Holy moly, love, 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 love this stuff. I love putting it in my hair. It never makes my hair feel like super crunchy or hard. It just helps define my curls and it will literally make my hair last for at least four to five days. Five days is stretching it because by five days, it, the the frizz is extremely real and it's just like eh, no 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 your hair looks awful but this stuff helps your curls look amazing way way longer I actually recently picked up the rest of this line but unfortunately it wasn't in 2015 when I picked up everything so we'll be talking about that another time Mixed Chicks leave-in conditioner was another one of my favorites in 2015 I stopped using it though because I started to like a spray leave-in conditioner and that was amazing because if when you put your product like into your hand and into your hair it's like so much more extra work and I really love just being able to spray my leave-in and spray my alpha juice in work it into my hair and then go on with my styler like so much more easier makes my wash and go that much more faster but I did love mixed chicks mixed chicks was a staple for me and now that it's winter i might actually go back to this just because it's something a little bit more heavier and it's going to help lock the moisture into my hair to help it stay moisturized for a long time i guess that was more like a summer routine thing <laughs> but i really loved mixed chicks in 2015. cantu's natural hair moisturizing curl activated cream this is actually what i did my big chop with this is actually what I do my wash and goes with, like in between days, I guess, like restyling, I should say, not quite wash and go. I would do this like on day three, day day five, definitely like day three, day five, like when I was just like little pieces in my hair that look a little extra frizzy. I would spray some water on it, a little bit of can too, put it in a spot, you know, fluff it up, let it air dry, pick it apart, do whatever I had to do. And it was great and it just helps to find those curls the freeziness goes away automatically it's uh, amazing one of my favorites major key major key to a great wash and go is this one right here major key major key key major favorite leave-in conditioner <laughs> look how much i have left this one was actually really expensive. It was like $17. I got it from Target. This girl is actually a YouTuber. She has a YouTube channel. I'll link it down below. Um, but this leave-in conditioner smells so great. Makes your hair feel so good and moisturized. I literally love this stuff. And it smells like... It smells like lemongrass. It smells like lemongrass goodness. Um... And this spray is actually for all hair types, so it's for curly, kinky, wavy, and straight. So you don't have to be a curly girl to use this leave-in conditioner. It's only sold in Target, I believe. I believe, I'm not sure it's where I buy it from, Target. But it's one of my favorites. 
one of my favorites and it makes my hair smell smoke so good for days like i could be walking past someone in school three days later after i've already washed my hair and i'll be like what was that it smells amazing you smell great christina what's going on this right here it smells so good one of my favorites one of my favorites one of my favorites worth the 17 dollars because i'm trying to it was either like 16.99 or 17.99 so it's like either 17 or 18 dollars little pricey for the hair but well worth it for me last two favorites are odie's buggies and everybody's staples for wash and go which is coconut oil coconut oil is the life coconut oil i love coconut oil for my hair this coconut oil is from target this is the unrefined coconut oil because you don't want the fine re the refined one at least that's what i mean I like the unrefined coconut oil for my hair. I use coconut oil on my hair, skin, just, you know, rub it in. It's just life in a jar. And my last favorite, this one is actually a new scent for me. I normally get the Jamaican cash nut oil mango and lime um, scent. But this one is mango and papaya. And oh my god, this mango and papaya smells so good it smells so good that i like started to like rub it in on my skin as an oil because you can use castor oil the jamaican castor oil i use it as a hot oil treatment i mix it in with my deep conditioners and castor oil for my hair is like sometimes i even use it to like seal in things because it's so thick i'll use it in to like seal in the moisture into my hair so i'll switch it up with my coconut oil I'll use Jamaican castor oil instead and I'll just like take it and scrunch it, scrunch it on my ends and just, you know, get it going that way. Alright you guys, so that is it for my favorite hair products for 2015. I'll leave a link, well, not a link, I'll leave um, all the products that I talked about in this video down below um, and where you might possibly be able to buy them. I'll have to look and see. Um, so yeah, if you guys are interested, just check the down bar down there. If you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!